ha ha, I caught it. It turned off, so I gotta listen for that beep. Apparently it only goes for so long and then it cuts off. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna take the 20 millimeter, it's 20 millimeter, the number 20 screws, pop a washer on it, and we're gonna stick it in there. Same way on that one. And it'd help if I have the right tip in. Is it that one? Yes, it is. There we have the base. Now, if memory serves me correct, that's when we get to the belt portion of it. So we're going to take number 42, which is our belt, going to pull it out. It is one piece. It's depending on you cutting this thing the right way and I'm sure not messing up. Luckily they are cheap enough on eBay, so if I messed up too bad, it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it goes that way, comes across, feeds through, and then comes back here. <clears throat> so first thing we're supposed to do is we're supposed to take and put a hole in this. And they use a punch on the video. I don't have a punch, but I was looking at this little tool set and it's got, they call that a punch, and all or wherever they call the thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to punch a hole in the belt about there. So, screw it around a few times. Make sure you don't punch a hole through your finger because that would definitely hurt. You can feel it going through. Good enough. And I'm sure that's where you can use this little file that they sent you and just run it through there. And what it should do is create a hole for the screw. Yeah, there's something there. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what screws we need to use for this. Okay, so we are supposed to use the belt, number 19 screws, which we have three of them already sitting here and we only use two of them. We're going to use a washer. And once again, we're going to be feeding the belt over, if I remember right, according to the video. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Let's double check here. Yeah, because we want the teeth to go on that deal there. So we're going to feed it in from the tooth side. Let's see if I can feed this in or if I've got to open it up again. Looks like I got to open it up. So we're going to take and feed it through and turn it. And that should open it up enough. I hope. Keep looking up at that. Okay, I'm starting to see some light through there. So let's go ahead and screw our threads through that belt. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so go back to our 2.5 Allen wrench.
better. It's loosened up. It started to tighten up and then it got through the threads. Okay, so we want to do that fairly firm. I'm going to run the belt through there. I'm going to run the belt through here once again. I'm probably going to play with that later. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing assembled. I got things I'd like to do today other than being in here because it is a very nice day outside. As they say we have the El Nino going on. It's supposed to be bringing us all this rain, but it uh, is a really nice day today. And it'd be nice to go somewhere and do something. Although I've been wanting to mess with this for a long time, so. <laughs> Yeah, see how this thing is wanting to twist around? Get over here where I can hopefully get on camera. See how things want to twist around? That's where you're going to want to make sure that you tighten this enough to where it's just starting in. Now, you don't want to tighten it up so much to the point where um, where you are starting. You see how that's starting to just tighten that just enough to get right there. That way it's not twisting on us. Um, if you, let's go a little bit more. If you start with it all the way back here, you cut your belt and get everything all set. And whenever you punch your hole and get everything going like that, it's just gonna end up messing everything up because once you go to start to put the tension on it, you're not gonna have to be able to put any tension on it. So you're gonna end up with a belt that you're gonna have to do little move up a little bit further on the belt as far as putting your hole. So, right at the end of my thumb there is where I want to put that hole. And if I'm off a little bit, it's no big deal because I've got enough slack there where I can, uh, you know, as far as this goes, I can tighten it up and there won't be an issue. I am not going to cut this belt until I know for a fact it's where I need it to be. Okay, I think that should do it. Let's see if I see any light through it. Eh, it closed up pretty good. But I can still see where it belongs. Okay, now I can see, see some light through it. Probably can't see it on camera, and I really apologize. Okay, so now we're going to take another night, number 19 screw, and we're going to put a washer on it. is not wanting to go through yet so let's go ahead and make the hole a little bit bigger now if you notice by the time we get to this side, I've got the teeth that are going to be facing toward the block. So I don't want to put any twists in the in the belt. So I'd rather it, you know, follow the line and and be that way instead of trying to make it somewhat like the other one. We're going to pull that back this way a little bit. Hold that belt. Well, I get that started. And then I'm going to have to twist it around so it's going to be on the other side of it. Okay, so now I'm starting to get firm on the 
where it's starting to put pressure on the belt. So now I flip the belt around so the teeth are facing toward that block. It'll be in line with everything. Tighten the screw up until it starts to flatten that belt. And once it's bit in, now theoretically I should be able to tighten this up and start. Like tuning a guitar. That sounds like a good tune right there. And I should have brought a pair of wire cutters with me, and I don't think I have any, so I'm just going to use my pocket knife. I'm going to cut the belt with some slack on it. Maybe about a half inch past. It's a pretty tough belt. Okay, so belt's going to go to the side. That's going to be for later. So don't throw it away because you're definitely going to need it. And that is going to be our lower portion right there. Nice and square looking. So from front to back, it is 41 centimeters. Should be what, 410 millimeters? The belt looks to me like it's pretty much in line, so I think we're good on that pulley there. I don't see anything looks crooked on it. So I'm happy with that. So now we'll move on to the next part of it. And that's going to be taking, let me set this off to the side, move some of my extra screws off here. So this piece here is going to be the next part of it. What we're going to end up doing is taking our motor mounts, which are going to be these two. It's going to be for our stepper motors for this part. <clears throat> That's those screws there. This one's to for our support rod and this these two are for the end stop so we do know that's going to be over there for sure and, and this is going to be out to that side so it looks like the, the brackets were made identical so the part for the small hole is going to be going to the outside same way on this one now we're going to need our two stepper motors And I don't know if you can hear, but I have a neighbor playing with his goats. So <laughs> if you hear somebody talking, that's that's who that is. Real cool guy. Okay, so now we have our two stepper motors here. We're going to assemble this piece on here, this piece on here. On the stepper motors, the wire will fit through this piece here. So whenever you mount it, it goes like that. The wire goes through there, everything's all good. Yeah, everything looks like it's gonna match up good. Okay, so now I need to find out what I need in the way of screws. Okay, first thing, one other thing we're gonna need are number 40. It's gonna be our collar. And uh, this is what's uh, gonna connect our What's that called? I still gotta learn the XYZ part of this thing. <laughs> I'll get to that later on, hopefully, but right now I'm just trying to get this thing assembled. So I don't know what they exactly call them, but they're uh, coupling, they call them. And we got our Allen wrenches that came with it sitting there. And then we're gonna need number 21 screws. We're gonna need four of them. So I'm guessing that's going to be to mount it to the frame. And then we're going to need, on number 20, we are going to need eight. So one, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. The number 20s. Okay, so now I'm sure we're gonna need more number seven washers. Yep, we're gonna need 12 of them. I have three set in here from earlier. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. We'll see if we actually use them this time, huh? <laughs> okay. I think this is pretty straightforward. Which right now makes me believe I did right in using number 20 screws on the that other uh, motor part of it because that's what it's calling for here. So we're going to take run that one in there. Going to run another one over here. Same thing over here. And once again, I'm using my cross pattern on it. 